Yeah, welcome back. It's uh, another Friday here at Pop Culture, and you know what that means? It's Facebook Live. We've got a special guest uh, in the form of Gus. Yes. Gus, woo! He's on the show, back again. Uh, and of course, Sandy, here, me, Josh, uh, Blake behind the camera, and Luke. Uh, Jam packed episode ahead of us today. We've got pop finals, action figures, replicas, Pokemon, board games, cards, all the things. Prizes. Prizes. We do have some prizes. Josh, what are the prizes? We are giving away uh, the pop culture exclusive, pop culture slash pop culture exclusive uh, spot holding the cat there, and we're also giving away Crouching Ang, as well as the Goonies. Funko vs board game. So if you like any of that sort of stuff, um, all you need to do is comment on the feed, ask us a question, um, give Sandy a suggestion for a different haircut. Um, Ooh, that could, that could be good. Maybe a um, Yeah, keep, keep it interesting. Keep it interesting. Um, and Luke will kind of go through it random and put your name onto the prize wheel. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah. Great prizes, uh, sold out uh, pop finals. A pretty good board game that I like the looks of at least. Uh, but uh, yeah, look, really excited to get into this episode. There are heaps of awesome things to talk about. And of course, we've got our friend Gus back. Uh, Gus, you know what? I'm going to let you kick it off. What do you feel like talking about first? Should we kick it off with Young Blood, I guess? Yes, yes. Awesome. let's kick it off with Young Blood. Let's kick it off with these. Sweet. Uh, so, Young Blood, Gus, you know a bit more about that than uh, myself and Josh. I think maybe everyone in this room. Uh, let me, like, tell me about Young Blood. So, uh, this is a brand new pop vinyl. It's just arrived. Um, I made a video earlier today on this and um, all the features of this and um, everything. It's a really cool pop complete with all of Young Blood's signature things. Um, what kind of someone said that Young Blood looks like Emo Sandy, which oh. I couldn't disagree with. I couldn't agree disagree with. That. I agree with that. Maybe maybe that's a maybe that's a new hairstyle. Is that a tutu? No. No, it's, it looks like a is it a barbed wire yeah. tiara? Yeah. What kind oh, of headband? So I'm curious, Gus. How do you like to listen to a lot of Young Blood? Oh, I used to. Yeah. What kind of what kind of music or like what kind of style? Um. Well, he does. Like he's got many different songs. Some of them are hip hop. Some of them are punk rock. Some of them are laid back acoustic. It really depends on what he does. Cool. So. Yeah, it's a bit of a Renaissance kind of artist, then. Yeah. Um, well, I definitely haven't heard it, so I'm definitely not cool enough. But uh, it looks pretty cool to uh, finally be able to get a pop final, and uh, I reckon it's fair to say it's got Gus's tick of approval. Who would you like to see in a pop vinyl, Gus? As part of that rocks line, who would you like to see that hasn't already been made into a pop vinyl? That's a very difficult question. Mm. I am going to say... <laughs> I reckon... I reckon Juice World. Juice World, I agree. I reckon that'd be cool. Yeah, Sandy? They've, uh, well, actually, they've announced that quite a few awesome uh, pop rocks additions uh, in the last couple of days, which uh, we should be getting. Uh, but of course, um, they're yet to be up for pre order, like of the likes, Green Day, um, uh, Pearl Jam, heaps of other awesome pop rocks that Punk has just recently announced, which would be really cool to uh, get into uh, your collections. Uh, if you're a little bit late to tuning in, uh, we're back again for another Friday Facebook Live. We've got some awesome prizes to give away. Two Funko Shop exclusives, which we dropped earlier this week, and uh, from Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, Crouching, and then Star Trek Spock holding a cat. Looks a little bit like Josh with the with his, uh, maybe if he had a little bit of mascara on there. Uh, and uh, holding a cat. I know you love yeah. cats more than dogs, so. Not true. Not true. Uh, and lastly, a Goonies board game. We'll touch base uh, on those particular products uh, a little bit later, but we're just going to finish off uh, that stack. So we've got uh, Coke. Gus, what's, uh, what's, do you know much about that one? Well, I can tell you from the back. Right, that's what we usually do. The old Josh um, technique. So, this is uh, from 1971. Um, it was a cultural landscape Coca-Cola, um, and it is Unity Collection. So basically, it's 
pretty much a can of coke holding the earth. So, hmm. so I think it's from an like advert. I'd like to buy the world a coke. I'd like to buy the world a coke. I think it's from an old advert. I think that's what that's what I heard was that it was a uh, an advert that was on in the seventies about Coca Cola, and uh, that's what it is. So if you're interested in that Coca Cola line, I know there's a bunch of pretty cool ones. There's the Cherry Coke. There is. Uh, there's some Diamond ones. Uh, there's all sorts of them. So if you're interested in that, check that out on the website now. Uh, what do we got at the bottom, Gus? On the bottom, we have uh, Deadpool. I'm not much of a Deadpool guy, but I like Deadpool. But that is artist Deadpool. Um, looks cool. Um, it's a lot going on. Yeah, there's definitely, definitely very large pop vinyl. I like his little barrel. All right. Yeah. Well, that was a nice little accent. So now I'm going to add to the Deadpool collect collection. De definitely. Wow, oh, that was strong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, this one's a special edition pop which means uh, that it's exclusive to a particular retail over in the United States. Uh, unfortunately, we're unable to ship these currently to the United States as well as Canada. However, continue to check back as uh, these restrictions are likely to change in the future. Great uh, three pop that we kicked it off with. We uh, just have the Suicide Squad pop. Suicide. The Suicide Squad movie that uh, is a reboot that's coming out this year. These have just gone live on the website today. We have literally just got them in. Uh, from the bottom, we have the Rat Catcher, King Shark, Rick Flag, Peacemaker, uh, Harley Quinn, Polka Dot Man, Harley Quinn again in a different outfit. I guess you'd have to watch the movie to know what that's about. Blood wait, Sport. Josh, hang on, wait a minute. Did you say Rigu? Yeah. Did like, they just come out? The last one, not that one? Yeah. It's like a mini Rigu. So it's, <laughs> it's like Sandy knows. Sandy told me this. No, not necessarily, Gus. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, it's a partial reboot. So basically, they've taken elements from the first film. A couple of characters are reappearing. So you've got Amanda Waller, obviously Mike Robbins, Harley Har Quinn, uh, Kai, uh, Jai Courtney as uh, Boomerang, uh, as well as Rick Flag. A couple of extra characters in that. Uh, but it's a it's a soft reboot. So I actually really can't wait to watch this because I'm absolutely hanging out to see King Shark because yeah. that. That looks like such a good character. Looks right up your alley. Yeah, yeah, that looks, looks like such a good character. Yeah, not, not too much science. Oh, no, it looks character. pretty scienty. Yeah. Looks no. like a science experiment going on. No, I just don't worry about it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's probably one of my uh, most highly anticipated films of this year. James Gunn, director of Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, obviously switching over to DC and uh, hopefully producing a really, really uh, good and funny, but also adult uh, R18 film. Uh, anyway, we've got awesome pop finals. You can grab the full set of eight uh, for $130, which is a saving of $30. Uh, and two, basically, two, one, at least one and a half pops, which is pretty good. <laughs> so uh, these, sorry, my math for kicking in. With these eight down here, as Sandy touched upon before, the special edition ones we can't ship to the US or Canada as of yet, but I don't know. We never know what the future holds. You know, it looks like some pretty get. sweet pop keychains. We did it. Uh, so a couple of characters there, Bloodsport, Harley Quinn, King Shark, uh, as well as another Harley Quinn. Uh, $10 each. Pretty good and pretty awesome sculpts as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely check them out. As Josh said, they're up on the website, ready to go. Uh, look forward to those ones. The Mummy. Uh, no, this isn't the reboot. Uh, this is the classic uh, 1999. Starring Bruno Fraser, uh, arguably one of the greatest movies of all time. Andy would definitely argue that. Uh, you know, you know, I would probably argue. Oh, which is pretty good, but uh, I know. don't think the Mummy's one of the best movies of all time. Well, it's definitely say. Andy would say it's the best movie starring Bruno Fraser. I would argue that the best film starring Bruno Fraser is uh, Looney Tunes Back in Action. Yes, we know, man. Looney Tunes Back in Action. That actually is a good movie. <laughs> I genuinely would recommend. I reckon, you know, back in VCR days, that's right, I'm old enough to know what VCR is. Uh, it used to, it just constantly used to play and repeat. It was great. It was great. Let me give you back an action, check it out. But uh, in the meantime, check out these three sweet The Mummy Pops, Rick O'Connell, uh, Evelyn Kanan, Kanan, uh, and uh, I thought you said I, I, No, I said it, it can be considered to be. Uh, anyway, $50 for the set of three. And they can go everywhere. There's no restricted shipping. $70, $10. Anyway.
Gus, I know you know a little bit about the, uh, what are they, Bing Tang uh, Boy Scouts? <laughs> Bulletproof Boy Scouts. Bulletproof <laughs> Boy Scouts. That's the one. BTS. Hit, go, take it away, Gus. Okay, so, uh, these are the Dynamite BTS Pops. I believe they did a line of BTS Pops before this one, which weren't the Dynamite ones. These are from the music video which was set in the 70s and if you take all the boxes and stuff nice and colourful and stuff so it does look pretty 60s and 70s but we have all seven members of BTS Who's your favourite member Gus? Jimin Oh going... Ooh, yeah. Jimin. Why Jimin? Because he's awesome That's fair, that's cool Who do you like more, Youngblood or BTS? BTS. Ooh, yes. yes. I would have said Young Blood, like, if you asked me five months ago, I would have said Young Blood all the way. But I've only recently picked up BTS. And so what, what kind of music do they do? K-pop. K-pop. What exactly is K-pop? Korean pop. Come on, Josh. I actually didn't know that. Oh, Josh. I've heard the phrase before, and that's Korean <laughs> pop. Alright. Well, so they're available on the website now. Yes. And... Yeah. Now, Gus, here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. Would you display pops, or do you display pops in their boxes or out of the boxes? Well, I used to display them with the box along the side and then the pop in the front, which mm. I'm thinking I'm going to go back to, but it's going to be a whole day project. Mm. Um, but I do display them in box mm. as of now. As of now. Is that for a time saving thing or more of a preser preservation thing? Collectability thing. Yeah. I don't know. I just do it. <laughs> it's the way to do it. As good an answer as any. Whatever, whatever you feel. Some are definitely meant to come out of the box. Uh, you know, they include stands, little plastic clear stands. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know what? You mix, mix it up, maybe get two. Maybe these, get two of a pop. Yeah, these have plastic stands. I think, um, Moving on, we've got some more uh, pop miles to talk about from Star Trek, the original series. Do you have any thoughts on Star Trek, Gus? Have you ever seen it before? No, but I've seen Big Bang Theory and they're pretty big on Star Trek. So. I think they're pretty much the same. Yeah, Captain Kirk, I am your father. Is that, that's right? No? 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 Alright, so from Star Trek, the original series, we have Captain Kirk when he's on his uh, little cherries pilot in the ship there. Khan, Captain Kirk when he's... Um, not have any sleeves on. We've got Spock, Sulu, and Uhura. I think I said that right. And we also have, as a special edition, Gorn. Um, also on this line is the uh, Funko Shop pop culture exclusive that we're giving away, which is the Spock with, um, where he's holding his little cat. Look at him. He's not, he's not a robot after all. He does have feelings. He likes animals. Um, so... Is Spock a robot? No. I thought he was. <laughs> I thought it said Sparks of Voltron or something. Uh, a <laughs> oh my he's god. A, he's <laughs> a, is that canon? Yeah, that's canon. Uh, no, Spock is a Vulcan. Uh, he's, he's, he's half Vulcan, half human. So the, uh, the Vulcan species is uh, more, more uh, thought based, more knowledge based, as opposed to emotions. Spock being half human, he uh, yeah, he's pretty in battles every day. with his human emotions. Anyway, uh, the Spock, you're definitely not a robot, but thanks for your insight, Josh. Uh, yeah. You can grab the uh, set of six without going for $100. Pretty good value. I do really like uh, Captain Cook in the chair. I like it. Looks, looks, looks Probably spot. one that you take out of the box, right? Yeah, That's, there's a lot going on. Yeah. I definitely reckon. Uh? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> says Gus. Uh, just back to uh, BTS, you can grab the full set for $115. So quite a big saving from $100. Uh, and uh, there is another seven pack, which we don't have on the website just yet, but uh, we will be getting it up there probably next week. Uh, so for anyone interested, that one will become available. So check the website, like I said, next week. That's uh, a really awesome, nice display. We'll probably show it next week, so check back then as well to uh, check it out. Uh, I think that's all for Funko today. Uh, you know, of course, uh, we are giving away two Funko exclusive pop finals. All you need to do is ask or comment on the feed and uh, you could go in, into uh, the mix of becoming on the uh, on the prize wheel. We'll spin that at the end of the show. Uh, oh, actually, we do have some board games. They're from Funko as well. 
Uh, we're giving away the Goonies uh, board game. Gus, Goonies, do you like the film? Oh, I'd say I've probably seen it seven times. Oh. So no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who's your favourite character in the Goonies? My favourite is um, Chunk. Um, Does it remind you of you? I just liked that character. I thought he was good. He's yeah. good, good comedic value. Great movie, by the way. If you haven't seen The Goonies, check it out. That's uh, yeah. it's my movie recommendation. Who hasn't seen The Goonies? Well, Sadie. no, I've seen it. I've definitely seen it. Anyway, uh, Funko Board Games uh, in uh, collaboration with Prospero Hall come out with some really awesome board games, uh, nice and complex. Uh, as well as, you know, nice family games. As you can see, uh, board, board uh, all uh, displayed out there with all the different cards and dice. Looks really awesome. Definitely worth checking it out. I, I know I uh, will look forward to playing it uh, in the future. There's also one other one. Disney. It's a small world. Again, another collaboration uh, with Funko and Prospero Hall. Uh, a little bit more, I suppose, a family-friendly, kid-friendly. Uh, ages four plus uh, to uh, six players. Nice, uh, quick game, 20 minutes. Uh, so definitely check that one out. I believe it's $45 for that one, $60 for the Goonies. We'll be giving one away. So someone out there will get the chance to play that one very soon. Uh, Handsome Will has just come in, and I think he's going to, as well, along with <laughs> Gus, uh, give us a rundown of the records. Yeah, yeah, no, I've um, got some record picks this week. Some new ones and some record store day ones as well um first off i've got white pony black stallion by deftones um it's a 20th anniversary release of the album that also features a bunch of remixes the original album was a pretty experimental new metal album that's um it's stuck around since it was released more than 20 years ago and it's been really um influential gus if you've got any words on these records feel free to um yeah i've never really got into <laughs> Fair enough. Um, here I've got another box set. It's Throbbing Gristle. It's two of their albums. <laughs> you love that word, don't you? Yeah, it's great. Um, it's two of their albums, Part Two, The Endless Knot, and TG Now. Um, it's the first time they've seen vinyl for a while. It's a really experimental, industrial sounding album. Next up, I've got the new album from Rise Against. These next few albums will all be like 2021 releases. This album is Nowhere Generation. It's pretty politically and socially charged. They cover a lot of current themes. Um, it's got a lot of their old school sort of punkish sounds in a hard rock album and it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Next up, I've got uh, Crowded House with their 2021 album. Um, if you're Australian, you more than likely have heard of these guys. They've been pretty influential throughout the Australian music scene in their time. They've written a lot of great songs. They are really talented songwriters, um, a lot of classics, and yeah, their pop rock has just stuck around for a while. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on Crowded House, Gus? Definitely uh, a very uh, influential band for Australian music. Yeah, I've said it better myself. Mm. Yeah, no, they are. They are pretty fantastic. Um, I, I really enjoy them. They've been a, a big name in my household for a while. I've listened to them since I was a kid and in always liked their music. Crowded house. Stop it. Boo. Stop it. Boo. 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 Um, next up, I've got Speed Kills. It's a new album from Chubby and the Gang. It's actually their debut album. Um, they're a London punk rock band, so I'm sure you can imagine what that entails. But yeah, it's really hard, it's really fast, and it's just, yeah, some really cool modern punk rock. Next up, I've got Garbage. It's like Rise Against, pretty socially and politically charged. They touch on a lot of current topics. It's more of an alt rock sound than anything punkier, but again, a really cool album. Um, we've got this one in white here. I believe there's a pink version with the same colour and then a record store day version with an alternative colour. So yeah, a few versions on our website to check out of that one. Sorry guys. Um, next up, I've got Friends of Rom. They're a local band. They're from Australia. Smoko at the Pet Food uh, Factory. That album's not from 2021. No, no, these, these ones. So that one was the last one. 2021 these ones going forward oh no this one will be um and then yeah a couple that won't be but this one is a, a really cool album they're they're pretty smart with their lyrics they're pretty witty they're pretty funny they've got a punk rock sound um 
but yeah, they're, they're, they're a good band, um, essentially. And we've got Grindhouse next, which is a local band from Geelong. They have kind of a compilation album here. It's compiled of some seven inches, um, some alternative versions, and one original song. But yeah, it's their, it's their latest album. It's hard, it's fast, it's the sounds that their fans love. It's punk rock and it's um, pretty entertaining. Definitely, and just touching on Grindhouse, we've got some really exciting things in the work with them. Uh, we're going to be releasing uh, their new album, which is going to be a pop culture exclusive. Uh, so, uh, I mean, if you are familiar with Grindhouse, you'll see that uh, they've been promoting it. It's going to be a really awesome album, and we're really excited to be uh, able to launch it exclusively in Australia. So keep uh, keep your eye out on our pages and social media, uh, because, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome, and you won't want to miss out on it for sure. Sorry, well, no, 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 that was uh, totally well, valid. Thanks, thanks, thanks for uh, putting that one out there. Um, this is Square Pushes album Be Up A Hello, it's breakbeat, it's IDM, it's drum and bass, it's pretty much essentially all the electronic music that Square Pusher is known for. Um, it's a bit more melodic than some of his other stuff at times, but it's a really cool album. Um, next up we've got a couple of Record Store Day 2021 releases from the latest lot that we put on our website, so if you haven't looked, I definitely recommend looking at our website at all of our record sort of exclusives because we have a few up there um some really great ones and there will be more to come in the next drop but this one is tom petty and the heartbreakers angel dream it was originally recorded as a soundtrack but it doesn't actually sound all that much like a soundtrack it sounds a lot like a tom petty and the heartbreakers album and that's what they've tried to capture with this alternative cover um it was recorded at the same time as wildflowers so it's got a lot of similar songwriting but it's a really great album from those guys Next up, I've got Fontaine's DC, and it's the last one for today. It's live at Killerman Jail. It's the Irish post-punk band that everyone loves with some great poetic songwriting and great musicianship. But yeah, essentially that's my record picks for the day. Everything from me. Um, thanks for having me, guys. I will catch you all next week. Thanks, 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 well. thanks, thanks. Uh, well, that was the record. There's a uh, heaps of record because we meet man in stock every day. Uh, we'll creating some awesome products uh, as well as doing his uh, handsome will pro uh, records of the day. Uh, definitely worth checking out and uh, getting your music fix. Uh, we're going to move on to some sweet Jaya Toys uh, diecast metal items. Uh, Fast and the Furious, a really awesome franchise. I really like. It kind of lost lost me after the. The first three films, probably the best Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift. Uh, Why is that? Why is oh. that? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm uh, I think they're all good. I can follow them. I don't know yeah. what. I don't know why you can follow them. No, because they've come to action and more like yeah, more Hobbs your Shaw. kind of uh, not it's a movie, a film action. for you probably. Always action. Hobbs and Shaw, great movie. Lots of stunts in it. I've heard they're real like. Family movies, right? They're oriented yeah. around family. Yeah, around family. Yeah, everything's family. You know? Yeah, family and heists. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, as he said. Oh, oh, I love it. I think that's uh, Dustin, you ever seen any Fast and the Furious films? No. No. You should check them out. Mm. I mean... Do you like Fast? I... No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. Well, maybe, maybe, not me for you then. <laughs> maybe, maybe steer clear, because that's what it's, uh, what it's about. Uh, anyway, we've got some really awesome uh, vehicle kind of replica die cast uh, cars, uh, you know, ranging from 124 scale to 132. This is only just some of the ones that we've recently got in. Really awesome, awesome different manufacturer model cars. Fit, all featured in the film and really high attention to detail. Uh, as I might have mentioned, uh, they are made out of uh, dark dust metal, really nice and solid, and actually you can really feel the, the quality uh, and a lot of weight, to them. weight to them, which definitely, you know, for me, uh, it you know, emphasizes quality and, you know, a little bit more of a tangible, tangible thing. Really reasonable price points as well. It's the 124 scale. Uh, $39.99, $40 each, uh, and the uh, you know, 132 scale, uh, $14.99, which is really, really awesome. So for anyone that likes model cars, uh, as well as, you know, like the really awesome four 
uh, younger kids as well, really obsessed with cars. Uh, and then, you know, as you get up, you get a little bit more appreciation for the different uh, models and manufacturers as uh, well. Uh, any Fast and Furious fans. Uh, really awesome. Won't touch and go into too much detail about the different makes and models. Uh, but just wanted to give you an idea of the different sizes. Uh, really awesome window uh, boxes on these, but I reckon you'd probably just wear them out of the box. The doors open, all the kinds of move. things. The wheels move, all the things that you would want out of a, a car. You can make sound effects as well, I suppose. Yeah, and even them have that sweet, like, you know that function where you, you pull them back and it like winds it up and then you let go and they drive forward? No, no, oh, no, so that, that's, that's a feature that you probably see in kind of like two dollar plastic cars. You that's go from not the shop. That's a missed opportunity. That's, yeah. No, I, I don't think it is. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, really awesome, I really like these. Uh, Jada, not only just do uh, Fast and the Furious die-cast vehicles, they do heaps of other different licenses. DC Comics, Marvel, uh, both film as well as just kind of comic inspired. Uh, and then they do Back to the Future, Knight Rider, heaps of other awesome things. Uh, and again, keep checking out on the website uh, and uh, you'll be sure to see them there. Uh, lastly from Jada, uh, we have some Dungeons and Dragons die-cast nano metal things is the one that they call these. Uh, and some awesome packs ranging from kind of a small starter pack, medium packs, large packs. As you can see, really awesome uh, characters from Dungeons and Dragons lore. Uh, and as well, you know, really awesome, nice colours. Uh, and they are the die casts, so really kind of heavy uh, figures. They don't actually do too much other than stay, stay where they are and uh, <laughs> just look good. But uh, yeah, I really, really like this Beholder figure. I think that's really, really awesome and cool. Uh, different prices on these. Start about $12.99, moving up to the medium packs, $24.99 with that larger dragon uh, you know, and that pack as well being $39.99. Really awesome. Like, uh, like I said, sounding like a broken record. Uh, heaps of Jada is going up onto our website, so well worth checking out uh, and just, seeing what's new. Just to address a question in the uh, comments there, Andy is okay, he is on holidays. Andy? Who's Andy? <laughs> Sandy. Uh, lastly on this side of the table, uh, some awesome Spongebob and Toki Doki, uh, a collaboration with these mystery minifigures. Uh, each box you will open up is a lucky dip kind of. Uh, and uh, you can get potentially get the characters listed on the side here, uh, as well as there's opportunity for some chase and rarer figures, but really awesome kind of style. Uh, as we can see here, the prime example of the collaboration, got Toki, Toki uh, Unicorno, I think is the brand of that one, as well as SpongeBob there, having a little fun little gallop. Uh, but, uh, you can grab uh, a box of these, it's $12.99, so nice little, uh, Sandy? Yes. Were you a SpongeBob kid? I was a SpongeBob kid. I'm actually in the show. I'm a squirrel. Uh, you know, no, no, I'm not. Uh, but that's what I used to be likened to uh, when I was in primary schools. That was, that was something fun to deal with. memory lane. Uh, but no, I, uh, I do like uh, SpongeBob. I, yeah, it was really good. Quality, quality program. Oh, um, there was a time and a period when I enjoyed watching SpongeBob. And you grew out of it like I didn't. What are you saying? <laughs> That's okay. That's yeah, fine. I get, it's not the kind of thing where you can watch episodes multiple times. That's right. I agree. Uh, but uh, yeah, we do have awesome SpongeBob uh, related stuff on the website as well. Josh, I know you're dying to speak about Fast Four. Oh, am I ever? Um, so we've just got in these Panini Contenders uh, 2021 basketball cards. So we have the Blaster Pack, which has 40 cards in it. Um, Blaster. Yeah, the Blaster Pack. Uh, what's awesome about this Blaster Pack is that uh, you find one autograph or memorabilia card per box on average. So it definitely is worth picking up the Blaster Pack. Um, these are online now, they're $89.99. Um, this is a great set. There's uh, like 100 base cards and a whole bunch of inserts that you can get as well. You can pick up some absolute heat from these things. I thoroughly recommend, if you're like me and like basketball cards or sports trading cards in general, um, I'd recommend getting in quickly because they don't last long. Um, I don't anticipate them lasting long. Do they come in bubblegum? 
The bubble gum? This is your question every week, mate, and you know the answer. I'm actually... No, no I'm, I'm just reiterating what some people have. Do, do you know, I actually genuinely didn't know that cards came with bubble gum until like two weeks ago. Yes, it was before your time. Yeah, way before my time. Just the signature tops. Uh, yeah. I think. Yeah. But way before my time. Way before. Um, but we also have. Uh, <laughs> way. Uh, <laughs> way. So, uh, so no, you must be. Oh, you put that smoking gum away. Come on, come on. So we also have the um, twenty-two card value pack as well if you want to pick that up so these are $20 each so you can get a couple more cards um, in the value packs but you just don't have the um, same sort of odds to find the autograph or memorabilia cards um, so I definitely would recommend going for the uh, blaster pack which is $89.99 um, also from our, or in our new trading cards kind of that we've just got in we have some more Pokemon cards so we have some elite trainer boxes Blake, save me the embarrassment of not being able to say that properly. I don't really know how to pronounce that either. Zacian? 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 Yeah. Um, Zacian? Yep, so these elite yeah. trainer boxes are pretty awesome. They come with a special edition um, gold card of Zacian. They come with some metal dice, they come with metal coins, some card sleeves, um, and also 12 booster packs, as well as some other guides to playing the game. Um, so we have Zacian, and we also have... Uh, Zamazenta? Yeah. Zamazenta? Would, would you agree with That's that? That's like, I'd say it. Gus, what do you think? What do you think, Gus? Gus, who would win in the fight? Zamazenta or Zation? Who That's it, you've heard from the gospel. Uh, <laughs> Zamazenta. So, we also have some of these uh, shining fates. Um, it's kind of slipped me, but these are. Uh, what do you call them, These Sammy? are V tins. V tins, yeah. that's right. Um, so, you get a. I don't know that shape wrong. They did actually. Um, so it's kind of three in the same line, um, and you can get the uh, kind of special cards that you got on the front there. There's um, Aldgos, Bortend, and Cramorant. You got what, that one what, right. Okay, what, whatever happened to old <laughs> Pokemon? Whatever happened to old Pokemon where it was just Pikachu and Squirtle and Charizard? Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, see? Awesome. But these three also as well, they come with the sweet tens and they also come with six booster packs inside which come with some um, awesome inserts which I'm all about. I'm all about that kind of a little bit of a dopamine hit when you pull a pretty sweet card. Um, yeah, all about that dopamine. All about that dopamine. <laughs> also exciting for Pokemon, we just got in these diecast uh, Pokeball replicas um, which is super sweet. They, come, awesome. they are pretty awesome. So they come in these sweet boxes as well. So we got the Pokeball, and we also have the uh, Great Ball here yeah, as well. Great ball. Yeah, so they're, they're pretty sweet. They've got these kind of like light up things underneath, which kind of illuminate. I don't know, you can't really see it at the moment, but especially like in a dark room. Oh, kind of, that's illuminating, Josh. It's illuminating. Ooh. Oh, see, it lights up the, the light. Yeah, see, look at how sweet they look. So it's kind of got that catching a Pokemon um, yeah. effect. Hey. Throw, your, throw your Pokeball at a. At a at a Pikachu, and you can you can trap it in there, trap it in the in the Great Wall, put it in there, close it up. Pikachu's not going anywhere. Well, actually, um, just kind of like it lights up in the balls. Can they agree to disagree? Do the balls open up? No, so no, no, they don't. No, no. Uh, <laughs> so these are available on the website now. They are one hundred and sixty nine ninety nine each. Wait, oh, um, sorry, question. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference between a great ball and a poke ball? Besides, I, I actually know this. I'm not asking. No, I want to hear Josh's answer. Okay. I actually know this. <laughs> um, so, Pokeball, this is kind of just like you play the games, right? You just get heaps of these. You have hundreds of them. Just throw them at your ratatatas or whatever because you can just catch any. Like and I choose you. <laughs> catch, catch, oh. <laughs> catch any old garbage and just your Pokeball. It's kind of like your classic uh, Pokemon balls, probably the one that you're most familiar with, the one that you recognize the most. But your great ball. That's kind of like, it's almost like you can think of it as a net when you're catching jellyfish like Spongebob. This is a bigger net, so you throw your great ball at a ratatata, you're pretty much guaranteed to catch it, but save these bad boys for your legendaries like your yeah, ho -os. Right, Blake? Your yeah, ho -os. Is it what yeah. you said? No, ho -os. Ho -os. Ho -os. Ho -os. A little bit more and, and Please. La Lagos? Oh no. La what is it? Lugia? Lugia, <laughs> Logos. Look at that, I was, I was digging, digging deep in the memory. You did pretty well. But also, on digging deep in the memory bank, 
I wasn't born, but we've also got some sweet <laughs> Nepcon figures from the 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. These things are actually freaking sweet. We have, uh, so his name is something, Mockman? What's his name, Sandy? Uh, yeah, Mockman. Mockman, Mockman. <laughs> so there he is there. He's kind of looks like he's got some slime going on, some garbage. I'm imagining he's. What do you think of that, Gus? Do you, do you like Ninja Turtle stuff? Uh, I definitely dig the replicas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How sweet is that? On a, on a sweetness scale, from 1 to 10, what do you give it? It's got a banana peel on his head. Nine. Nine. Nine, Nine sweetness. Yep, that's actually... Well, there's Joe, Joe Eyeball as well. Yeah, so that's, I'm guessing that's Joe Eyeball. This is available on the website now for $59.99. So if you are a Turtles fan, you do collect this necklace. It's even got that sweet necker packaging where you kind of open it up like a book. Um, so if you did want to keep it in the box and kind of admire it, you could do so. But I'd recommend getting it out. Have it, have a play with it, have a go. We also have... Um, I know someone who would love this. Who? So, uh, oh, it's just a close friend. <laughs> <laughs> close friend of mine. Go on, speak about this. So we have Krang, um, I think Krang, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's like a cyborg thing. Uh, no. and that is, is that Krang in the middle there? So Krang is the, the yeah, brain. Yeah, that's what I mean. The like the jelly. Yeah. Um, but this comes with heaps of awesome accessories. It comes with a little um, shredder up there. I don't know what that's about. I have to check out the TV show. Um, but again, it comes in this awesome uh, necker packaging, which has kind of got some awesome artwork on the front and kind some poses like, on the back. Kind of like a book, Josh. Kind of like a book. It's got the picture there. Um, and it's got the, it's, got, it's actually got the sweet um, OG necker logo down the bottom, which is, which is cool. Look, volume number two, that's like a book. That's a book then. Um, <laughs> so you can pick both of these up on the website now. The Mockman is $59.99 and the Krang is $79.99. And last but not least, we have uh, Genghis and Rasputin oh. the Mad Frog. Um, I don't oh, even know Sandy. this is a thing. Speaking of books, <laughs> oh, yes. um, when are we getting Simpsons comics? Oh, that's a great, great question. question. That is a great that's question. We've left that one alone for a long time. Probably was, too long. It's probably I too I was long. Safe from that question. No, probably too long. No, since no, left that. I know. Oh, uh, sorry to disappoint, but they actually aren't making Simpsons comics anymore. No, so. they are. They are. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, that's not true. Yes, oh. thanks for telling me. We'll just agree. Uh, oh, oh, good. Uh, we're not getting them anytime soon, sorry, that's the point. Uh, back to Genghis Khan. Genghis and Rasputin the Mad Frog. I didn't even know what these were until they came in this week and I saw them and I was instantly like, this is actually sweet. I love their little shirts. I love the frogs. They're kind of like in the same teenage mutant. Ninja Turtle vein where they're, they're like a reptile but they're wearing clothes yeah. which is interesting. Yeah, I, uh, I, I these kind of look like, like yeah, they look like little surfer dudes. Oh, They've I was going to say they look like little Josh and little Sandy. Little Josh Sandy and little Sandy. Sandy. Hey, he'd probably, time, yeah, out, huh? yeah he, I'd be Genghis because he's like the light hearted one whereas Rasputin the Mad Frog, I have a feeling he's a bad guy. Yeah. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But look, look at the disguises that they come with as well. The disguises and the different heads and the bow and arrow. One of them's, one of them's a a range type and one of them is a melee type because he's got the um, the <laughs> axe there. What does um, melee mean for those who don't understand? It means it hits. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's what melee means. Um, so so these, thanks, you get for free, guys. We've had, <laughs> we've had a bunch of Turtles 2 packs um, online and they always go pretty quickly. So if you are a Turtles fan and do like this awesome line of NECA Turtles products, Getting quickly, um, we can never guarantee a restock on them. Um, but yeah, Sandy, how much was the Rasputin Genghis? $1.19.99. Whoa, free shipping as well. Free shipping. Yeah, that's a plug if I've ever heard of one. Uh, should we talk about some. Um, we should talk about some Bandai uh, and then we'll move on to some sweet uh, action figures. Uh, Gus, anything here taking your fancy at all? No? Cool. Alright, cool. Well. I'll, I'll just soldier on. Uh, from Bandai <laughs> and Tomaki Nations, uh, an awesome collection of SH figure arts. Uh, so up the top here we'll start uh, Hulk from uh, the 2012 Avengers film. Uh, sweet, kind of classic uh, Hulk, uh, as you can see, nice and angry. Uh, and, He's got a uh, couple of different heads. He's smiling in that one. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uncharacteristic for Hulk. He's yeah. really angry. Uh, but uh, you're yeah, really awesome. These SH figure arts, 
really awesome articulation, high detail, uh, and uh, yeah, really, really awesome for those that uh, are all about posing uh, their action figures to the fullest extent uh, and getting the most out of them. Uh, as well as saving a lot of space as well. Uh, Hulk, uh, quite expensive. These, these are quite expensive, but again... There's a lot of detail though. You get a lot for your money. You're getting a lot of detail and uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, as I said, um, articulation, uh, which is uh, yeah, really what you're paying for. Uh, Hulk is 154.99. Josh, uh, speaking of uh, moving on from kind of action films <laughs> to science, heavy science films, so, I reckon we'll start with, let's start with the bottom tier of monster. We have a uh, boring old reptile, Godzilla. Um, he's, he's opposable, but you know who he wouldn't win in a fight against? Uh, only the, uh, the king of the island, uh, Skull Island, <laughs> King Kong. This figure is awesome. He comes with his Kong axe that he finds under the ground in that movie. Not going to go into the movie. We've, we've touched on it a whole bunch of times now. Um, wasn't the biggest fan. Uh, he's bent over like a silverback gorilla here, but if you look at him, there's a hole again with all of these um, Better Notes Machine H or SH figure arts figures. There's a bunch going on. There's a whole lot of detail. Um, they're pretty awesome for their scale. Uh, there's, yeah, definitely a lot happening. They're extremely poseable and they nearly always come with uh, interchangeable head sculpts or just at least some uh, different accessories so that you can change things up from time to time. So sure. Tell I, don't, I don't care for these boxes. Yeah, they're not great. There's not a lot. There's not a lot that you can really see. Yeah. Uh, so they're definitely not in box collectibles. No, uh, you, you've wor it's worth taking them out though. 120 uh, percent. And uh, yeah, you can get them for 199. Not actually worth it. Like you've got this and stuff. You can kind of do something. Oh. That's exciting. That's exciting. No, but as Sandy said before, they're definitely <laughs> not action figures that you keep in the box. They're not like your Necker Turtles ones. You de it's definitely worth getting them out and having a look at them and posing them around and stuff. And the next definitely. iconic duo. Next <laughs> iconic duo, if you ever thought, uh, you know, Godzilla and King Kong were too much of a, a blockbuster <laughs> who's going to win film. Uh, Wonder Woman versus Pac Man. Uh, yep. <laughs> Quality. Boring. Boring. Yeah. Red Redemption. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're basically the same. You know? <laughs> I've got Arthur Morgan running around just collecting loot, aka white dots, uh, and uh, yeah, and he often makes his great signature catchphrase. But we've got awesome uh, last two essay figure arts. One woman, uh, the box on this one, Blake, uh, yeah. like the other one, you can't it's actually see anything about this figure. Honestly worse. Uh, definitely. Uh, but, uh, yep, yeah, really highly articulated and great likeness of Gal Gadot uh, from Wonder Woman 1984. A lot more expensive uh, mm -hmm. than the other ones. This one was actually $294.99, uh, I suppose. Well, with these ones, they actually uh, use a printing technology to uh, get the face sculpt on there, so they digitally print Gal Gadot's likeness uh, onto the sculpt, uh, on the, the face at least, uh, and that's uh, how they get that closer attention to detail. Uh, 294 uh, $294.99 for that one. Pac-Man, however, because uh, he's uh, more of a stable uh, and a smaller figure, really, really awesome. I really like this uh, action figure. It's got, uh, of course, Pac-Man. He's got a, it comes with a ghost as well as a cherry. The uh, cherries look sick. They do. This, this actually looks really, really awesome. And I actually can't believe that this is actually only thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's actually that's that's cheap. I'm, I'm actually questioning whether that's a that's a that's a faulty price on that one. But uh, <laughs> you know what? Check, check that out uh, because. 
is uh, that's, that's what it says on the website, and uh, I reckon that's a steal. Uh, so definitely worth checking out. Really awesome like, package design as well. Tons of interchangeable head sculpts on there. Like I said, the cherry, uh, as well as a ghost, which you can't see on that pack there. But uh, really awesome. Really Great awesome. stuff from SH Figure Arts. This uh, new level of stuff we've got really knocks it out of the park. There's some awesome licenses, some awesome lines you can pick up. There's a little bit of something for everybody. Um, it's also a great place to start if you haven't got any other action figures. Um, it's kind of, you get a lot of detail for, uh, it, it is quite a pretty sweet price point. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we've got a couple more things to talk about before. We can finally give away our prizes. Uh, it's probably a little bit too late in the show to get the chance on the wheel, but the way that you would typically is uh, tune in early, uh, is that's the key. Uh, as well as comment in the feed, interact, ask us a few questions. That's always good. Josh likes that. Uh, and, uh, questions. You could potentially go onto the wheel, our prize wheel, which we spin at the end of the episode. And hey, that's where you can win. Uh, but where do you get the uh, Stay Pop t shirt? Uh, I got it from her website. It's called Last Exit to Nowhere. Uh, it's a really awesome site. It's definitely not a plug, but. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, nice site where I get a lot of my t-shirts, really like it, movie inspired, well worth checking out. Uh, moving on to some more higher uh, detail and more expensive high-end action figures. Uh, from 3-0, we have uh, some TV show inspired action figures. Game of Thrones, it's Tormund Giants Bane, uh, really uh, you know, well-known character and uh, fan favorite. Uh, one of the wildlings, uh, main wildlings. Three zero really do an awesome job. I'd say they're probably next to Hot Toys uh, in terms of delivering high quality one six scale action figures. The attention to detail in their sculpts as well as uh, their costuming is really really awesome. And uh, you know the tailoring on this, the different uh, use of fabrics, really really awesome. The accessories as well. And you know what they do better than probably any other collectible is make a really nice balanced figure that doesn't need a stand. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm messing it around. But uh, it doesn't need a stand like other action figure companies. Really awesome. I really like this action figure. I really like the full Game of Thrones line, which, of course, you can grab on our website. This, uh, this figure, really, really awesome. Nice, massive battle axe there. Also comes with a couple of other accessories. Uh, he's solving one of his iconic swords, but it comes with uh, an obsidian, uh, kind of another axe, as well as an obsidian uh, dagger, which of course, all of the Game of Thrones characters have to use in season eight. Uh, great season. A lot of people didn't like it. I enjoyed it, that's okay. Uh, but uh, $300 for this great 3-0 Game of Thrones, Tormund Giants Bane, one six scale action figure. From 3-0, again, from The Walking Dead. Hey, some of you might still be watching that show. Uh, <laughs> others might not be, but this is a character, I think first appeared in season seven of The Walking Dead. It's King Ezekiel. Uh, so one of the leaders of a new community that the good old gang stumble across. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, a really awesome character. Awesome dreadlocks uh, and really awesome character. Again, I'll say for the second time, <laughs> really awesome. It's by 3 0 and uh, yeah, awesome likeness of the actor, whom I don't know the name of, but hey, you can look that up. Uh, <laughs> do it. Do it. Hey, if you feel so inclined, please, please do. Uh, but really awesome. I really like the dreadlocks. You can kind of, the nice and flexible, like other, you know, you can play around with that. Oh. Did he have the tie with him? He doesn't. But I suppose, yeah, spewing. Uh, he's not going to stand up. But uh, really awesome. He comes with a really nice uh, gun there as well. And his iconic chain, which is also a sword. Ooh. Uh, let's get that one back in. Uh, nice right gear costuming as well. The uh, jacket is removable also. Really awesome. Again, this one's only $299.99, $300, uh, and uh, Josh having a field day with action figures that he's usually not allowed to touch. Uh, and then he's not here, so get away with a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just going to, oh, he does come with a pistol as well, so it's pretty cool. But really awesome, heaps of Walking Dead uh, action figures, and uh, yeah, this one's really awesome, I do really like it. 
Moving on to Star Race, it's Joker from Batman Ninja. This is one with six scale, really awesome. This one is probably one of the best Star Race toys, action figures I've seen in a very long time, purely because of the accessories that come with it. Uh, and of course, the, the awesome likeness, Batman Ninja is an animated standalone film uh, from DC Comics. Uh, Love his mustache. Kind of set in a samurai kind of <coughs> universe and world in which, uh, you know, of course, you've got the, the Lord Joker. Uh, this, yeah, he's an awesome figure. He's got his nice, deadly fans. Uh, this is, as well as a base, you can also set it up as kind of a backdrop set piece. Uh, and these are all accessories that you can also pose here. Uh, whoop, uh, <laughs> as, well as, as well as stand and pose with uh, the, uh, the figure itself. Uh, it's a nice, it's really awesome, the throws to the character itself. Um, Josh, man, you have a field day picking up toys. Look at, look at it, it's great. Look at those Joker colours, it's like the Batman 1990 movie as well. Just love, love his moustache. So you're that. only point of reference <laughs> to the Joker character, that one film. No, look, I've seen um, Dark Knights as well. Um, jo you like the Joker, you recently watched those films, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about this actually being pretty cool? Rate it on the sweetness um, scale out of 10, guys. I think it's um, six. Hmm. Six? Well, that's, that seems low on the sweetness scale. Why would you, why only a six? I don't know. What's not doing it for you? Uh, for me, it doesn't feel like the Joker. Oh, yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's valid. It's, it's no, pretty obscure. Oh. Probably more for people that have seen that, seen that movie. Maybe yeah. check out the movie, have a look at that. If you like the Joker, see that. Maybe come back. No, disagrees. Don't think it's happening, Josh. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really awesome. As I said, a nice kind of uh, uh, reminiscent old gun, as well as uh, I think it must be like a bang that written in uh, some uh, uh, di a different language. Uh, <laughs> Japanese, maybe? Yeah, could be. I don't know. I didn't want to make an assumption and be wrong. Uh, but really awesome accessories. Like Batman said, Ninja. Batman, yeah, well, who knows? Who knows where that is? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, really awesome. He's obviously holding a shield, different hands, different accessories. Really like this. Uh, and you can grab $479.99. Uh, and uh, stock is extremely limited on this one, so I would highly recommend getting it quick. Otherwise, it's gone. It's gone forever. The Lord of the Rings, uh, again from Star Race, we've got a 1 8 scale Aragon uh, and a uh, really awesome figure. 1 8 scale, so going down to the smaller size collectibles now. Rooted hair on this one, uh, not too many accessories, uh, but you've got his iconic sword, he does come with a dagger as well, uh, and uh, yeah, really awesome, nice mixed media cape on this one. This is a, the deluxe version, which comes with a deluxe base. You've got that iconic Lord of the Rings ring, uh, as well as a rock kind of uh, rocky ground that he's standing on. Thanks, Josh, for pointing out the features. Wow. It comes with interchangeable hands as well. Really awesome. Uh, you can rub it for um, one. Oh no, you can rub it for three hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, free shipping Australia wide. We've got Treebeard as well. This is a Depo Real Star Ace figure, fully uh, uh, poly resin, uh, more of a statue. So, different kind of interpretation. This is uh, Star Ace's kind of artist style line in which they can take some iconic characters, kind of morph them, distort them in a way that kind of looks uh, individual and unique. Of course, that moment, uh, Treebeard comes to the rescue. Uh, the, the iconic characters, uh, the two uh, hobbits, and uh, yeah, there's a really nice, awesome piece. A lot of detail. Uh, I see the two hobbits on the top, and there's a nice little bird nest on there as well. Really like this. Really like these Deborah real statues. 179.99 for that. Hey Gus, who's this? Uh, who's this large person here? Do you know much about Thanos? Do you like Marvel? I am definitely the DC guy. Yes. But <laughs> I still love and appreciate the Marvel Cinematic mm. Universe, mm. Um, but I do think Batman and the Joker are 
the best. Oh, I knew I liked you for a reason, Kirst. <laughs> uh, but uh, we've got awesome. This is from Mezco. Uh, so they've been an awesome kind of series back to the biggest, which is one twelfth scale. Uh, and this is, yeah, one twelfth uh, Thanos. More of a comic inspired version. You've got his test rack there, which if you shine a light through, it's kind of semi transparent. I haven't turned it on, but uh, the gauntlet does light up. Uh, which, uh, Ooh. yeah, it's nice and, nice and shiny. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Sandy! I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm as bad as Josh. All on <laughs> film too. Comes with a Tesseract, which, uh, if you take that, we say, uh, thanks, Thanos, uh, you can actually pretend you're Galacticus. Hey, Sandy. Okay. No, no comment. Uh, it does come with a heap of accessories, really awesome. These are, are great for scaled collectibles. Uh, you know, if you don't really want to commit the uh, the space that is 1 6 scale, uh, the 1 12, there are heaps of different figures and lines, mainly Marvel, DC, hey, there are even the Warriors. Uh, and uh, you can come out to play with all of those Nesco action figures uh, all on the website. That Thanos, particularly, is through $259.99. And uh, you know what? That's the show. Should we give away some prizes? My God, we got there. Let's give away some prizes. <laughs> um, so, as you commented on the feed during the show, you went in the draw to win uh, the Crouching Ang, the Spock with the Cat, or. The Goonies Never Say Die Funko Board Game. So, what should we spend for first, Gus? What do you reckon? Um, should we do the pops? Yeah. Pops? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Do you, want, do, you want to, do you want to spin the wheel, mate? We will oh, spin the Goonies. We'll spin for Crouching Ang. So. Okay. Give it a real good crack. Yeah, spin, yeah, spin. Well, definitely. <laughs> go, go for it. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Big spin. Jeez, look at that. Alright, well done, Brad Harris. You have won the good crouching job. and pop. So send us a message on Facebook with your email address and your physical address. And we'll get this sent out to you first thing on Monday morning. Uh, physical send, address? Yes, yeah, physical address. So we can send them, we can send Mailing them. address? Uh, send them. Physical. We're spending, we're spending now for the spot with Kat. Uh, do you want to take it away, Gus? Do you have a non-physical address? Yeah. <laughs> uh, an email address. Where's my... <laughs> You'll need to send us that as well. Uh, but for Spock, it's... Uh, Joe Tyson. Tyson. Same again. Send, send us your email address and your physical address <laughs> so that we can now uh, send this on out to you. Um, and finally, the best spinning for the Goonies Never Say Die board game. Um, take it away, Gus. Let's go. Big one for the finish. Four. Mm. Well, it's a power, it's a power for spin for a power for prize. Congratulations. Congratulations. Send us a message with your email address and your physical address and we will get that sent out to you on Monday. Um, thanks for tuning in everybody. That's been a uh, week in review. Thanks, nice? thanks Gus. Amazing. Thanks Gus, yeah. For thanks coming for, on the show. Thanks for joining us. It's always a pleasure. Always, always a big uh, hit with the crowd. It is. Everyone loves it. Uh, everyone asks, you know, what kind of wave you're on here in pop culture. Uh, hopefully you're getting paid for this, uh, this time. Hopefully. Hey, maybe in... <laughs> Maybe in pop vinyls. So Can be you good. hear me, Dad? <laughs> oh, we'll, ma we'll make sure. We'll make sure he hears. Uh, but uh, thanks, Gus. Really do appreciate you coming on and helping us out with Andy away. Uh, it's, we need all the help that we can get. Uh, but uh, it's been Luke, our prize wheel extraordinaire. Gus, of course. Josh. Blake behind the camera. We couldn't do the show without Blake. A little, uh, we love you, mate. Okay, uh, okay, calm and, down. And, and me, forgettable. Uh, old, old half a old, over here. Old, old uncle. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll check you out next week uh, with uh, no Andy again, but we'll, we'll survive. We'll be here. Uh, thanks for bearing with us, guys. Congratulations to all start. the winners. Hope you have a great weekend. Stay uh, safe. Stay safe. Enjoy the football. Yep. Uh, and uh, tune in to see Dylan Bearson tonight. Yeah, calm it down. Let's go. That's it. Cut. Yep. Cut.